Explain the different types of switched mode power supply. Earlier we discussed about the operation of switched mode power supply, its advantages and disadvantages. Based on different applications, we've classified SMPS into three types. Forward converter, flyback converter and push-pull converter. Let's discuss them in detail. Let's first discuss about the forward converter. Forward converter are used in device requiring 100 to 200 watts of output power and good voltage regulation. From the circuit diagram of forward converter, we can see that here chokes carry current whether the transistor is conducting or not. A choke is an inductor in an electrical circuit which is used to block higher frequency alternating current and passes lower frequency or direct current. And the diode carries current during off period of transistor. The chokes also store energy during on period and also pass some energy to output load. The forward current is always flowing through the inductor, hence it is named as forward mode switching regulators. Let's discuss now about the flyback converter. It is relatively simple and cheap since it does not need any output choke, hence commonly used in TVs and VCRs. But it has relatively poor regulation and high ripple context in output. The circuit diagram of flyback converter is given as the energy stored in inductor during on period of switch. This energy is discharged into output when switch is in open state. Since the inductor voltage flies back above the input voltage, the voltage at output capacitor is higher than the input voltage and hence the name flyback converter. Let's now discuss about the push-pull converter. It's used for output power requirements exceeding 200 watt and better regulation. They are preferred choice in PCs. Push-pull designs are relatively complex and costly. The circuit diagram of push-pull converter is given as When Q1 is in saturation, energy is stored in the upper half of primary winding. When Q2 is on, energy is stored in lower half of the primary winding. The voltage across secondary is then rectified and filtered to get DC output. Thus, we can summarize as 